Hey guys, Spitefire H2O back for Amnesia, and I forgot it, it just loaded right up into the game. So I lost a little bit of sanity. Because Daniel is crazy, scared of the dark. But then again, you know, it makes perfect sense because. Damn. Because he just lost his entire mind, so. More or less. As well. Cool. Okay. Anyway, let's continue on. Derp, derp, derp. I'm gonna try not to use as much oil. Because I don't feel like, you know, running out. Hey, what's down here? Well. Is that what you wanted? Something to drink? Guess not. Ooh! Chemical relocation. Lack of chimney to properly vent the fumes. My most recent experiments have taken its toll on many of the less stable ingredients in the storage. A uh, few movies have it. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. To the wine cellar. I don't think that. Anything else? Ah! Flashback. Uh, there should be more coop rats. Let me see. Let me see. And hey, one hey. part aquaforce. Chemistry pot, pot, I got the pot, it's here. Open. Crouch. Look at all the stuff that you, that's just hidden. See, they, they need to make more games like this where, you know, you like throw stuff like that, open up stuff like this. What the hell is this? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. I find myself doing terrible things. I can't take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know better than others. Sweet for them, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Is this like the things from Penumbra? Probably. Weird. Does it say the same thing? Yes, it will. Early alchemy experiment. Third time to produce artificial vitae. Like potency you need, yep, blah blah blah, reading stuff fast. Not really caring. Fox, it's just me and you. You go first. Cause I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to be going, so ah. Is that all that's in here? Is nothing? Besides the chemistry pot? Okay. Well, waste of time. Uh, a fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones of the, the consulate, consulate in Constantinople. Who said that? I will save you, young lass, for I am Daniel, a hero of something. Well, not that attitude, it won't. I'm coming, my lady. I think. Wait, is that where I came from? I don't know. Tinderbox. 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 Sorry, lass. I have no idea where you are. If I could save you, I would go save you. Where the hell am I going? This way. Do I still have a headache? Yes, I do. Ah, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Wine cellar. This is where I want to be. Eh, uh, journal. 
Nope. Diaries? Mento. Find the key for the wine cellar. Evidence laboratories. Be looking for chemicals can create powerful acid. Okay. Okay. I guess I have to go to the archives. I have to go save the woman that I heard screaming, I guess. Yes, double click. Okay. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Ah, uh, backstory. Well then. I hear a noises. What's the point of this area? Is this when we get to first see the monster? Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear tomorrow I oh crap the men I didn't into the ancient structure hoping to reach the burial chamber no matter what the professor is keeping from me the dig should yield something interesting to take back to london and the british museum what's the point of putting drawers there if you're not going to put anything inside of them freaking bugs Anything else? There we go. Got a little bit of light. Catalogy. Ah, okay. I heard a noise. I do not like noises. Especially since it's like two in the freaking morning. Shirts. 17th of May, 1839. Story. I tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language I love Daniel's voice. to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and the broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Dun dun dun! Am 
Oh. That was weird. <laughs> how is that unsettling? Your book just fell. Honestly, how many did I have seven left? Cool. Hey, how is opening? Daniel, you stop that. I'll call you Danny from now on. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Local history. First, always check drawers. Nothing. Huh. Expected the, this to have a doorway that slammed shut on me. Well then. Hey. Oh, I guess Daniel can't play. Oh, hey. I know where I are now. No, not really. I lied. Did I light a torch down there? Or I thought I did. Ew. Give me more oil. Give me that oil, girl. Okay. Well then. I hear noises, and I'm wearing surround sound headset, so it's loud, it's eerie. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Four plants. Maps. the hell? Well, shit. That wasn't very nice. Okay. Kingdom of Prussia. Prussia! A book. Ah, no diary. Wait, what happened? Daniel! No, Daniel, no! Don't go into the dark. May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. I want to touch it, was it. Waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. No. I reached out, closing it in my hands. And a faint glow escaped my fingers, and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Damn, Daniel. With that grasping and stuff. Well, that's enough story for today. So I want to hit, I want to hit X, escape. So, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see me finish this series. And I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye.